Welcome to the first of teaching tips from Mayo's Consulting Clinic. CAFE, the Center for the Advancement of Food Service Education, is bringing you a series of these tips for you as teachers. We're all good teachers, we all do the best we can as teaching, but sometimes a new frame, a new idea, a new suggestion rekindles our excitement or gives us a new approach to teaching. So, welcome to the first of many of these tips. Let me be clear from the beginning that I think we all do as well as we can as teachers. We care about our students, we really do well, but it's always helpful to remember that our students will respect our knowledge as much as we respect them as people and as much as we respect what knowledge they bring to our class. Today we're going to talk about developing a welcoming syllabus, a thought that may be different from some of you in, in your situation. And one of the things we do most often is to write course syllabi. They're often long, complicated, and detailed documents, and we spend a lot of time working on them, and we put a lot of care into them. But sometimes the way we write them is the way we were trained to write them, or the models that we have seen. And they're not often the most welcoming documents for our students. And if we want our students to enjoy our courses, to be excited about our courses, to really come with an open heart to everything that we bring to them, then let's think about doing our syllabuses in a different kind of way. The first thing to remember about syllabuses is that we write our syllabi in requirements that are given to us by institution. And oftentimes we include policies, details about the course, the course description, the course objectives, etc. A variety of information that's really important. In culinary programs and hospitality programs, we often say a lot about dress code or professionalism or food safety and sanitation. And we often now have policies on plagiarism, academic honesty. All of those are important. But sometimes we forget that the syllabuses we often grew up with were punishment syllabi. They weren't welcoming syllabi. So they're full of comments about 10 points off for this, or this has to be in a certain format, or it has to be done a certain way, or you lose 10 points, or if it's later, you're going to lose so many points, etc. And that's not a way to welcome them to a course. So let's think about writing a syllabus in a way that welcomes students. So the first thing you want to do when you welcome students is to write it to a student. Write it in the second person. Write you. How many syllabuses have we all looked at that describe the student will, the student should, the student better, the student ought to, etc.? Write it to the student. It's a conversation between you and the student. And let the rest of the people oversee it, read it from an outside perspective. That's the first point. The second point is to describe your philosophy of teaching or your approach to that subject. One of the things we forget to do is to talk about how we teach something. So if you're teaching a foundation course and it's really a wonderful course and an exciting thing to do, explain why it's exciting, explain why it's important, explain how it sets the real foundation for really good culinarians and makes a difference in all of their career. How many of us remember the, what we learned about knife cutting and what we learned about food safety and what we learned about basic cooking skills we carry with us and use us all the time? And going over it and going over it and going over it is a critical part of those classes. And that's a great part of the way we teach those classes. However, if you're teaching dining room management, you're really trying to see how the students run the dining room. So your teaching style and your strategy is much more facilitating what they do, letting them make mistakes, cleaning up after them, and giving them feedback and comments. So explain your teaching approach and your teaching strategy in the syllabus. It helps them get used to what you're going to do. It helps them realize you are a different teacher than someone else and a different kind of course than they may have had before with you in a different subject. Because in many of our programs, we teach several courses. And we teach culinary skills very differently than we teach dining room management. We may teach food safety very different than we teach culinary math. So explain that strategy, that approach, in the beginning of your class. It really makes a difference. And the third is, excite them about the course. Tell them how wonderful it is to teach food safety, to understand food safety, what a difference it really makes about keeping your restaurant alive, about understanding what's really one of the most fundamental, powerful, and exciting things in food right now. If it isn't food safety and food sanitation, what is it? We all have the ingredients, but that's what's really changing things, and that's what people are caring about. And that's why food sourcing is so important. That's when we talk about organic food and how we're doing things differently. That's what makes a difference in the course. Share that excitement, make the difference, etc. 
So three ways to make a difference in writing a welcoming syllabus. First is to remember to think about it as a syllabus that's welcoming them and change everything about it so that it invites them into the course. Second is to use you. I'd write it to the student, not to about the student. Three, explain how you teach that and why you teach it that way. And four is communicate your excitement about the subject. Because that's what a syllabus is. It's a document to turn them on. Now, we spend a lot of time writing syllabi. The problem is sometimes they don't read it. So what do we do? Well, you can do a couple of things. One of the things I do is I send the syllabus to students um, ahead of the time and I ask them to bring it to class having already read it and then I will ask questions about it. Sort of grill them or drill them or ask questions about it. Second of all, I know several faculty members who ask them to sign a card saying they've read and understand what's in the syllabus. I've even been known to give a quiz the first week or the second quiz on the syllabus and ask really fundamental questions like how many assignments in this course, which assignment can you redo, what are the office hours, but it really gets them to dig into the syllabus and care about it. And when they ask a question about what about this assignment, what about that assignment, say, what's it say in the syllabus? Let's look it up. If you don't know, it's in the syllabus. It brings them back to the syllabus. It shows it's a living document, makes a difference in your teaching. So have some fun, write some welcoming syllabi, and enjoy it, because teaching is all about enjoyment. If you want more information about other teaching tips, I invite you to the CAFE uh, website, cafemeetingplace.com, a great place with gold medal classroom and other things. It will be full of other resources for you. Thank you for listening in, and have a wonderful day.